Good morning, Mount Carmel area, and welcome to MCA Live. I'm Natasha Nevis. And I'm Darla Hood. Here are today's announcements, then our news stories. Today is Wednesday, April 16th, day 6. There is a sign-up sheet at the high school office for students interested in becoming junior firefighters. If enough students sign up, there will be an information assembly held at a later date. Empire Beauty School will host a field trip tomorrow for juniors and seniors who have interest in cosmetology. Check in the guidance office for permission forms. The varsity and JV cheerleading meeting scheduled for yesterday will be moved to next Tuesday, April 22nd, after school in room 129. Eighth graders need to hand in their career day at Penn Tech College permission slips to the office as soon as possible. The senior class is selling two Easter baskets at the front desk. There is an Easter egg sale for a dollar an egg. Both prizes and award winners will be announced on Thursday. Seniors are selling Blue Mountain candles. The cost is $15 with orders due to Mr. Sankovich or Mr. McConnell by April 22nd. Seniors, your senior projects are due. Check in the principal's office for any questions. Interact volunteers are needed to participate in police day at Town Park, May 17th. The sign-up form is in room 304. The Interact Club is also collecting items for the SPCA. Bring in your items to the main lobby or to room 304. A volunteer is needed to make a Mount Carmel Rotary brochure before May. This can be a senior project or an Interact Club activity. See Mrs. Rumble or Mr. Verano if interested. There will be a chicken barbecue on May 18th held at the Silver Bowl. The cost is $9 for tickets which can be purchased from any senior or the office. Homerooms are collecting pennies for patients for the leukemia fund. Be sure to drop off your spare change in your homerooms donation box. And here's today's news. Students, do you know what you're going to do after you graduate? There are many options and it's not all about the college setting, but the career that interests you the most. If you like hands-on work, careers such as welding or carpentry may be for you. The North Everland County Area Career and Technology Center offers both welding and carpentry courses for students. These programs provide an extensive amount of work in these most common techniques. By choosing either of these careers, you will need skills such as math and science to perform, practical applications, and physical strengths to perform the work. And there are many opportunities for future jobs in welding or home construction. For other offerings, take a look at the Northumberland County Area Career and Technology Center or Pennsylvania College of Technology for after high school. The seventh grade Junior High Pride Award winner for the month of March is Danielle Hooper, daughter of Daniel and Judith Hooper of Mount Carmel. Along with being a distinguished honor roll student, Danielle has many cheerleading trophies and has previously been awarded the Student of the Month. She participates in cheerleading, Our Lady of Mount Carmel Church Choir, and is a church festival helper. Danielle's hobbies include fishing with her father, reading books, and spending time with her friends. This 8th grade Junior High Pride Award winner is Tyler Craw, son of Chuck and Michelle Craw, Mount Carmel. In his free time, he enjoys drawing, spending time with his family, watching TV, and hanging out with his friends. He is also a member of the Junior High Cross Country, Track, and Basketball teams, and won the Pride Award last year. Congratulations to both Danielle and Tyler. With only seven more activity periods left until Keystone exams, the upcoming science PSSAs, testing is definitely coming up fast. Our activity periods have been helping students prepare. The Keystone testing window is from May 12th to the 23rd, and school districts must complete all tests in that time frame. Freshmen will take biology, and sophomores will take literature for the first time, and students finishing Algebra 1 in any grade will take the Algebra exam. Additionally, all students who have taken the test but not previously passed will test that subject area. After keystones are complete, we will go back to the regular five-day schedule. So in the meantime, make our activities count by reviewing the content areas and make our school district proud. Starting with this year's freshman class, all students must test proficient to graduate. Activity period is one step towards success. Tyler's up next with sports.
On Saturday, the boys and girls track teams traveled to Wilson High School near Reading to take part in the Leonard, Leonard Stephen Invitational. MCA entered the tournament virtually unknown, never competing there before, but came back with some wins. With extremely nice weather for the first time this year, many athletes were able to run some good times and break some personal records. The girls team finished sixth overall and had multiple three, top three finishers. Ali Vrana won the 300 meter hurdles and was also part of the 4x4 team that finished third. Marissa Clayman and Amara Fimonsini added a second place in the 400 meter javelin. On the boys side, the team competed well and won the AA team title after scoring 66 total points. Dominic Fernando won the javelin with a throw of 169 feet, also added a third place finish in the discus. Nate Bardis blew away the rest of the field and took home the title in the two mile relay. David Fletcher took second in the 400 meter and also was a member of the 4x8 relay team that took first place. Congratulations to all who medaled and good luck in this Thursday's Breslin Invitational. On Saturday, the baseball team battled North Schuylkill at home. The team had another rough loss, losing the game 9-0. The Tornadoes were only able to muster three hits in the outing. On Monday night, the team hosted Midwest and lost a close one 8-6. The team finally got their bats going with two home runs in the game coming from Brett Williams and Jake Jones. Mount Carmel also committed four errors in the game with each of them coming in costly situations. The team now travels to Lewisburg tonight, still searching for their first win. That game begins at 4.30. Our MCA girls softball team co opted with Lords was able to earn their first win over the weekend. On Saturday, the girls hosted Millville and came out on top with a 15-2 victory. Monday night, the team played uh, host to Shenandoah Valley and got a big 12-1 victory. The team was led in the game by MCA's Carly Spangler driving in two runs. The girls play again tonight, hitting the road to battle Marion Catholic at 4.30 p.m. Congratulations and keep it rolling, girls. And finally, this year's boy bas Boys Basketball Area All-Stars are chosen by writers from the news item. Features a few of our MCA ballers. Junior Zach Toslowski and senior Ben Chikatano were each chosen for the first team honors. Chikatano was able to bring size to, to the Tornadoes lineup this season while also stretching the floor. Averaging more than four rebounds a game and making 29 three-point shots this season made Chikatano a great threat whenever he took the court. Toslowski also added some clutch perimeter shooting averaging nearly 15 points per game and hitting 51 threes throughout the season. Congratulations to both athletes on their hard work and dedication throughout the season. That's all we have today. Back to the news. Thanks, Tyler. Hey, wrestlers. Applicants for the Mark D'Angelo Memorial Scholarship are available in the guidance office. Applicants must have earned at least two varsity letters in the sport of wrestling. Students must also demonstrate good character and integrity and have an unmet financial need. Additional consideration will be given to students that have been involved in extracurricular activities and clubs. The scholarship is valued at $1,000. The deadline to apply is Friday, May 9th, 2014, so get your applications from the guidance office today. And here's info about another scholarship for seniors. Applications are now available in the guidance office for the Ann and Blaise Alexander Memorial Scholarship. Two $1,850 scholarships will be awarded to deserving seniors who are planning on attending a business or technical program at a four-year college or university. Deadline to submit an application is May 9th, 2014. And for today's lunch, chicken and waffles, mashed potatoes with gravy, corn, applesauce, and low-fat milk. And for tomorrow's breakfast, sausage and egg on an English muffin, whole grain cereal, assorted bagels, and 100% juice. That wraps up our broadcast for today. Tomorrow we'll bring you a brand new set of stories. And today is National Librarian Day. So a big shout out to Mr. Kozlowski. Have a wonderful Wednesday, MCA. This is your territory, Grimson. Do your job. Grimson. 
Hello? Hi, honey. What? Now? All right. The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. <laughs> and the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again. I love you, Daddy. I love you too, sweetheart. Hey, it's my girl. You know, my daughter. Love. Pass it on. A message from the Foundation for a Better Life. Hello, my name is Owen Boyle. I am a sophomore here at Penn College of Technology. I am in the collision repair major here in the Cal building. I'm going to take you on a short tour of the collision repair lab. This is where the collision repair process starts right here at the front desk with John, our in-house estimator. He's also a student and a sophomore in the collision repair major. His job is to write the estimates, start the process for all of the vehicles that come into our shop. Next, we're gonna move on to our non-structural where the second portion of our learning begins. 